Hi hello and welcome back to Need Master. Next to biology, most scoring subject in NEET exam is chemistry. Most of the students think that chemistry is very difficult. Is it true? If you say yes, then I bet you after watching this video, you will understand how easy it is to crack NEET chemistry. In this video, I will explain weightages of all the chapters, most important chapters and how toppers like me actually study physical, inorganic and organic chemistry. This video will completely upgrade your preparation to the next level and will definitely gonna add some taste to your chemistry preparation. If you don't want to miss that, then watch this video completely. Recently, I got many requests to make a video in English, so I made this video in English. I am Ibrahim, NEET 2019 topper, currently pursuing my second year MBBS in Madras Medical College. If you are watching my video for the first time, then consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of my videos. Then without wasting a moment, let us dive into the topic. First let us look at the weightages of all the chapters. We have made this tabular column based on last 10 years NEET exam paper analysis. You will get 44% questions from class 11 and 56% questions from class 12. And I have given a download link in description where you can download this tabular column. Ok fine, there are totally 29 chapters in chemistry. In that, these 12 chapters are very very important. You will get around 28 questions out of 45 questions only from these 12 chapters. So give more time and effort to master these chapters first. Once you are thorough with all these 12 chapters, you can comfortably score 110 to 120 marks easily. Yeah, it is true friends. Without even touching remaining chapters, you can comfortably score 120 marks. Still you think chemistry is hard? No friends, chemistry is not hard as you think. But don't stick only to these 12 chapters because they may ask difficult questions from important chapters and very easy questions from non-important chapters. My suggestion is to study all the chapters. And one more important point is, while studying, always start from basics. For example, if you are studying SPDF block elements, you must be very thorough in periodic classification lesson. Because without studying periodic classification, you can't understand SPDF block elements. So I ask you to start from basic chapters of chemistry like periodic classification for inorganic chemistry, mole concept, atomic structure, chemical bonding and molecular structure for physical chemistry and general organic chemistry for organic chemistry. If you do like this, your basics will be strong and you can master other chapters very easily. One of the main reason for scoring low marks in chemistry is that students fail to study these lessons or they don't understand concepts from these basic lessons properly and they start to study other chapters which is not at all effective. If you do this mistake, never ever do these mistakes again. If pillars is not so strong, then the building will collapse easily. Always remember this point. There are 12 chapters in physical chemistry. More often, you will get problematic type questions from these lessons. To master physical chemistry, follow this strategy. First step is to watch lectures or read NCRT lines and prepare good notes. According to my theory, listening to lectures without taking your proper notes is just a waste of time. Even though you feel I can remember this for a long time, you can't do that because all those information you gather in lectures will be present in your short term memory which is a temporary memory and it is necessary to repeat, revise the topics again and again after a space interval of time in order to move that content into your long term memory. So next time when you listen to lectures practice taking a good notes. Second step is solving problems. While solving problems definitely you will commit some mistakes and third step is to rectify that mistakes by reading your notes again and by doing some research by asking some questions like why I made that mistake? And how can I rectify it? Whether I read the questions wrongly, whether I made a blunder. By finding answers to these kinds of questions, you can improve your preparation. This is the perfect 3 step strategy for physical chemistry. If you follow this strategy, then definitely you can do lot better. Totally, there are 8 chapters in inorganic chemistry. I already told you to study periodic classification before studying other inorganic lessons. For NEET level examination, it is mandatory to study first 30 elements and DNF block elements, name, atomic number and atomic mass. And it is very important to know about the orders for atomic size, electron activity, electron affinity, density, stability orders along groups and periods. And it is a general trend that examiner always ask questions from exceptional orders. So always write exceptional orders in a single sheet of paper and stick it to the walls of your study room. 
Like odors, it is very important to study the structures of inorganic compounds. Don't just manually look at the structures. Instead, practice drawing the structures. While drawing, don't forget to study the bond angles. It is very difficult to memorize all the bond angles. What I am suggesting you is, you need to have a general idea like comparison. Which angle is larger and which is smaller. And sigma upon pi bond ratios is also important. And for p-block elements, practice writing as short notes and use mind maps for better understanding and if possible, do a combined study with your friends. Okay, these are the general strategies to follow to master inorganic chemistry. Totally, there are 9 chapters in organic chemistry. Like periodic classification for inorganic chemistry, in organic, first and foremost chapters to study is general organic chemistry, GOC. In that nomenclature, naming of organic compounds and various effects like inductive, electromeric, resonance, hyperconjugation and isomer resonance very very important. Without understanding this concept, you can't study organic chemistry. Making good notes for organic chemistry is mandatory. In organic chemistry, naming reaction is very very important. Mechanisms for aldol condensation, substitution, elimination and addition reactions are also very important. After studying the mechanism, you must come to a conclusion like, if I use this reagent, this substrate will convert to this product. This type of conclusion will give you the general idea about the mechanisms. In order to master organic, you need to solve lots of MCQs. While solving, you will come across lots of exceptional questions. I used to write those questions in a sticky notes and I will paste it to my notes. While I revise the topics again, I will revise those questions too. And finally, don't skip polymers chemistry in everyday life and biomolecules. These chapters are very easy and you can easily attend 3 questions from these chapters. Ok, these are the general strategies to follow to master organic chemistry. And I hope you like this video. If you need any videos regarding NEET, comment below and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.